What's up guys, SonicDash24 here, and in this video there's going to be a short tutorial on how to make characters attack or move up to their enemies and attack in RPG Maker 2003. Now, let me go ahead and get this out of the way real quick. Um, the thing is I actually found my old RPGs that I actually had, it's an older version of it and I can easily use this so that way I can make the tutorial. But let me get this out of the way real quick, I'm not going to be giving out any res resources for this um, that's in this RPG that I'm showing right here because I'm not up for distributing any type of resources out to anybody at this point. Because like I said, I'm happy to help up with tutorials and everything, but I'm not going to be Mr. Distributor and pretty much just get involved in all that. And the thing is that, um, um, like I said, since my RPG got taken down in Mega Blow because it got seized by the government, it pretty much kind of destroyed that, and like I said, I just don't have time anymore to really be messing with the RPG. So like I said, no resources. But to make things a little nicer, I'm actually going to include a link in the description. Um, that goes to a website where I got most of my resources for the games that I made. I gotta say that some of the stuff I made for myself, but most of it is pretty much been borrowed and modified. So, like I said, I'm not gonna be giving any resources, but I'll include a link in the description to a website to give you some things in case you're looking for any extra, um, you know, pieces for your RPG. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started. Now, the thing is that it actually varies depending on how you have your, um, characters imported in the game. I'm assuming at this point that you already have your characters, um, their sprites for attacking and everything, I don't know that moving left and right, all that's set up. Now, the thing is that, like you said, you would just want to make him, make your character move up to the enemy and attack. And this is actually pretty easy, but like I said, it depends on how you have your characters imported. So, at first we're going to do battle character sets. So, first we're going to use my Sonic garbage and I'm going to go to the database. So, the first thing first is we're going to go to item, and then we'll go to the race size, and we're going to... Um, increase it and make a new weapon. So I made two, but ignore that. So I'm just gonna type in, let's see, Sonic Battle. Oops. So dang it. Sorry, my keyboard's busted. Battle gloves. Two. And I already have another one, but I'm starting from scratch to show you. So, Sonic, name of your weapon, Sonic Battle Bros 2 is my example. Then we're going to select the weapon category. Description, I'm just going to say Sonic's default weapon. Alright. And usable by, what you're going to do is select this box right here. And it's only going to, you're going to check out the box for only for the character to use it. In my case, it's only going to be Sonic. And you got a couple of variables down here that you can play with, but I'm not going to touch those. That's, you can mess with those if you want. And I'm going to go to the animation area, and I'm going to go to set. Now the first thing you want to do is that you're going to go to this area that says movement before attack. Select it, hit the drop box, and select move to target. So what that will do is make Sonic move it to the target and hit him. Now another problem is, is that there's the sword that's showing up right here. Now these are from like the base sprites that was in the game, but like I said, I'm using Sonic's own sprite of him running up and of him punching the enemy. So we gotta get rid of that sword. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to where it says um, weapon animation type weapon, and we're gonna select the drop box and select one of the dash lines down here. That's one of the blank spots for where weapons are installed, but we're not gonna be using any, so just click one of the blank ones. And also as a little bonus, if you want your character to have like an after image when he runs up to an enemy, you can click this after image box right here. So that way that he'll run up to an enemy and go ahead and attack and stuff. So what you're going to do is, you, that's your choice right there, I'm going to keep mine to none. And also as a little insurance right here, I'm going to select this, bo this box right here that says battle. And this is for battle animations for the character, but we're still, like I said, this is what battle character sets. What we're going to do is we're going to select this, and we're going to go select one of the dash lines that's here, too. So that way it removes that. So the thing is, is that this is actually going to remove it. Excuse me. <clears throat> remove it, and then that way he won't show any type of weapon or anything. So we're going to say okay to that. And let me see. And that's just about it. Now, you may notice that my punch animation right here is different. That's because that's actually a modified one that I messed with. So, you also be in a 3 punch, so if I, if you're just starting with this, I would select you keep it on punch C, which looks like it's a basic punch attack or something, which is the, you know, attack out of animation for it. So select apply, and I believe that's about it. So what you're going to do is, what we're going to do to test it out, so we're going to go to M groups, and I'm just going to fight against some random enemies that I've made, so 3 ghosts, I'm going to hit test battle, and here we got Sonic. Alright, so let's see, number party one, initiative to make things easier. 
Sonic Battle Gloves 2, level 50 to make sure I hurt somebody in one hit KO. Hit a one hit KO. And we're gonna test it real quick. Hold on one second, I noticed something was off. Let me go check this one more time. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. When you're done with this, also make sure that the weapon area is set to. I made a little mistake, so make sure that the weapon um, box right here is selected. So say OK, apply, and there you should see your animation of the character. Alright, so let's try it again. We'll go to back to M groups, test battle. Start test. So as you see right there, it got to work. Sorry for the mistake right there. So let's just make sure we can do a quick rundown and make sure everything's set. So item, make a weapon for your character. Make sure it's for only that character. You go to set. And make sure moving before attack is move the target. Attack number attacks, that's your choice from one to three times. And make sure that on weapon you have a dash line right here after image, that's also your choice. But also make sure that the weapon area is selected, not battle. That was my mistake earlier. Make sure it's weapon. And that should pretty much be it on how to make a character move up and attack. If he's not holding a weapon, you want to use his regular punch animation. That's pretty much your choice. So that's pretty much the one down on battle character sets. Now we're going to switch over to my Kingdom Hearts RPG and show you how you go about battle animation. So I'm going to close this real quick. Project, open project, Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Alright, so the, pro the procedure is actually somewhat the same, but it's a bit different. So this is what I'm going to do. Like I said, I assume that you have all your sprites already set and imported and ready. <coughs> Excuse me. And battle animations this time. So I'm just going to show you what to do here. So I'm gonna now for Sora. I'm just gonna use Sora as an example. I'm just gonna type in Keyblade two, and I'm just gonna type in Keyblade right here. All right, type weapon. Okay, usable only by Sora. All right. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna go to set. And here we got pretty much the same options again, but it's a bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to select none. No, hold on. Move the target. Number of text. That's your choice again. Now the only con with battle animations is that the After Effects of um the After Effects doesn't work for the battle animations here. It only works for the battle character sets. So that's a little costly, right? That's one little small thing that'll cost you, but it ain't a biggie to me at least. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to get rid of the sword. So we're going to go down here and look for a dash line select it and get rid of that and as an extra we're also going to go select this battle at a battle area right here I'm going to scroll down and select one of the dash lines and say okay to that okay so just make sure everything is here selected and that's it and keep it on battle okay And what you're gonna now, like I said, if you have your character doing his striking animation, import it as battle animations. If you know what I mean, it's pretty much in this tab right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, let's see, sorry, I'm going all over the place. You're gonna go back to item, to your weapon that you're making. You select this drop down box and select the animation of your character doing that attack. So I got sore striking down here somewhere. Here it is. You can't really see it, but that's him swinging his keyblade right here. So I'm going to click apply. So to test this out, we're going to go to M groups, uh, test battle, and I'm going to use. Let me check this real quick. Hold on one second. Let me change this. There we go. Test battle. All right. He's already set for keyblade too, so that's set. And we're going to go ahead and start it.
Unless I do Final Fantasy music is fail there. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it right there. So, let's do a quick rundown again. So, what you do is you create an item. Make sure it's a weapon for the character. Only that character. Usable only by that character. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. And go to set. And we're going to select move the target. Attack, your choice. And keep it on battle dot. And make sure that both of these is the dash line, which is nothing. And then over here, for your attack animation of your character doing it, you just go down and list of the battle animations that you made and select the one of your character doing the attack. And there you go. You get apply. And I believe that's about it. And the last thing to do is that for both things is to make sure that you, for the starting equipment, make sure you select the weapon for that character to start out with. And that should pretty much be about it. So. That should pretty much be the end of things. So I hope this tutorial helps you out. If you have any questions, just hit me up with a comment and I'll try to get back to you soon. Later.